Hey guys, I just wanted to show you what I got in my March BoxyCharm. So five items in here, just like normal. I did adjust my preferences to more of a skincare based box because lately I've just been getting so much makeup that doesn't get used. I'm giving it to friends and I would rather get some products that I want to try and just been in a skincare mood the past like two years. So, all right, first thing I'm gonna talk about is this Lice Beauty primer it's the secure skin gripping serum primer i really like this stuff so far um obviously first time using it it's a very runny consistency but it doesn't smell bad there's really like no scent at all went on really easily my skin got tacky my skin felt tight it felt smooth it felt prepped for my foundation so far i'm liking this it retails for 20 dollars next up is a hair product i have this coconut and fig hair mask um, it says that it has, let's see, where's that? Retails for $17. And it says this super hair mask is enriched with coconut oil and maru maru butter, butter for healthy, hydrated, and glossy hair. It's the must have hair mask to nourish your hair deeply and give you the ultimate treatment at home. So yeah, obviously haven't tried it. I'll probably try it tonight. It is hair washing night. You know, normal cream consistency. Smells good. I'll give it a try. I'm excited. I usually don't get hair products in my BoxyCharm, so that's a nice little change. Third item is this Brightening Vitamin C Mask from Frank Body. It's 1.69 fluid ounces, looks just like this, and little pump. Pretty much what I expected for a vitamin C serum. It does have a scent. Um, I don't really know what that smells like, to be honest, but it doesn't smell bad. I don't think that it's going to be too harsh for most people. The instructions say to apply a thick layer to clean skin, rub in circular motions for 30 seconds, leave on for five minutes, and then rinse, and to use it two to three times per week. This one, where is it? Retails for $20 and natural, cruelty-free. Overall, seems like a pretty good product. I don't have a vitamin C serum or mask right now. So this is a nice little switch up. I might try this later tonight and insert a little clip. Next up is another product that I actually tested out today. It is this Aesthetica Contour Series Cream Palette. I'll insert a video of me trying out the bronzer or contour cream, whatever you want to call it. Nice packaging. You got six different colors in here. And once again, I only used this shade today, but I liked it. I feel like it did a really good job of blending out. I don't have much experience with cream contours. So I feel like if I did a pretty good job on it today that most people who've tested out might like this one. It retails for $40 and it says that it is specially formulated um, for fair to dark skin tones. All right, last thing in my March box is this Coors Velvet Skin Drink. Really nice packaging. I like this bottle a lot. Um, reading the box, it says that it will transform your skin to velvet soft with a single drop of antioxidant rich Santor Santorini grape hydration while smoothing out imperfections and awakening a no shine glow. Retails for $48. Once again, probably going to use this tonight. So overall, I feel like this box is really nice. I appreciate that they actually listened to my recommendations and included mainly skincare. Usually I get just like a bunch of palettes that don't go use and I just feel like they haven't been very good quality lately. So I feel like I got some really high quality products in this box. Yeah, I don't know. If you got any of the same items as me, let me know down in the comments below and I will see you guys in my next video.